What's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy Carnacopias tokens or Copy token. So in this video, I'm going to show you step by step how to set up MetaMask wallet, how to add Binance Smart Chain, how to purchase tokens on exchange, send them to your wallet, and then how to exchange on a pancake swap. And every site that I'm going to go to in this video, I'm going to leave links in the description below. So first site is Carnacopias.io. And if you scroll down right here, there is how to get copy tokens, there is instructions and videos. But what I'm going to do in this video, I'm actually going to show you details step by step how to do that. First thing we need to do, we need to go to metamask.io and we need to download extension to our web browser. And for this video tutorial, I'm going to be doing this on Chrome, but you can do it for almost any web browser out there. Just press on download now and then press on install MetaMask for Chrome. Then right here, press on add to Chrome and then add extension. OK, once extension is going to be added, we can close this and then new window is going to appear right here. We need to get started. So also before we're going to get started, we're going to press on this little puzzle in the top right corner. It's going to be our extensions and then we're going to pin. So that way, every single time we're going to see our little foxy MetaMask wallet. So then right here, we need to press on get started. And if you already have MetaMask wallet, you can import here or you can create new one for this video tutorial. I'm going to create new one. Then you can help them to improve. I'm just going to press no. Thank you for right now. Right here, we need to come up with the password and then put a check mark next to term of use and then press on create. Then press next right here. OK, and then right here, this is going to be our secret recovery phrase. We need to click here to reveal secret recovery phrase. We also need to save this recovery phrase. And keep in mind, don't ever share this phrase with anybody, because if you do, then they will have access to your entire wallet. Once you have your recovery phrase saved, press on next. And then we need to confirm our phrase. And then press on confirm. And that's it. All done. And you can close this window. This is what we're going to see by default. And by default, we're going to be set up with Ethereum mainnet. Next thing what we need to do, we need to add Binance Smart Chain to it. We'll have to go to this website and then scroll down. And then we're going to have to add this information into our MetaMask wallet. So let me split the screen real quick. OK, in here, you can either press an extension and then do it from here or you can do it in the main window. It's going to open up either way. So press on this little carrot and then press on add network. Once this window is going to appear, that's where we need to paste all this information. Network name, new RPC URL, chain ID, currency symbol and block explorer. OK, and then once we have that done, we can press on save. And by default, it's going to add smart chain and BNB is going to be default token. And then last thing let's add before we're going to move on, let's add Cornucopia token to MetaMask wallet because once you're going to purchase by default, token is not going to appear over here or it's not going to be added. So if we go back to Cornucopia website and then we copy this Binance Smart Chain contract address and then we go back here and then import tokens, paste this address here. Token symbol is going to be copy and then token decimal is going to be 18. That's going to be added automatically and then add custom token and import token. And that's it. You go back and it appeared over here as well. So now we have Binance default token and then copy token. That's the one we're going to be purchasing. So next thing we need to do, we need to purchase Binance tokens and transfer to our MetaMask wallet. I'm going to switch to different web browser because I already have some BNB in my other MetaMask wallet, but I'm going to show you step by step what you're going to have to do. So BNB token can be purchased on KuCoin, on Binance.com, on Binance.us. It depends where do you live or which exchange you can access. But for this video tutorial, I'm going to use KuCoin. Anybody can access this website. So right here, what you're going to have to do, you'll have to sign in or sign up and just go through the registration process. And if you know how to use exchange or central exchange, you can just purchase here. Or if you never used this exchange before, you can just press on buy crypto and then press on third party. Then this window is going to appear. And right here, you're going to be able to use Visa, MasterCard or Apple Pay to buy BNB tokens. 
So here's what you have to do right here where it says I want to buy you need press on it and then type BNB and then choose BNB and then it's going to tell you that minimum you have to purchase for $30 and the maximum amount is 20,000. So just type the amount that you would like to purchase. Let's say $100 and for $100 if you're going to use this website or this website you're going to get either 22% or 20%. So the top one is going to be the best offer. And then you're just going to have to go through this process to purchase this token using your Visa or MasterCard or Apple Pay. I'm not going to go through this process because I already have some actual token deposited into my MetaMask. So then once you have successfully purchased BNB on KuCoin, then we're going to go right here. Then in here, you'll have to press on the main account. Then this window is going to appear right here. You're going to have to search for BNB or most likely BNB is going to appear on top because that's where you're going to have tokens. Then you're going to have to press on withdraw. This window is going to appear right here. We're going to have to type or paste our address where we would like to deposit our tokens. We have to open up our MetaMask again and then in here, make sure it's set to smart chain and then we're going to have to copy this address to clipboard. Just press on this little copy thing to clipboard going to copy your address that's where we're going to be sending bnb and then paste this address here and then please select network so this is very important drop down and then we have to make sure we choose binance smart chain bep 20 because that's the one that we're going to be using because native binance chain this one is even unmatched but make sure you always from any side you're going to be purchasing make sure you check bep 20 otherwise it's going to be their native chain and you're not going to be able to use then in here minimum withdraw is one percent and fee is one percent so you'll have to have at least two percent of bnb tokens to transfer to your wallet once you have amount set up here press on confirm and you're just going to have to probably confirm it with a two factor authentication or something like that. And then you'll have to wait a little bit and then your token is going to appear over here. So I already have almost 3% of BNB in my wallet. Then we're going to go back to this website and then we're going to scroll down because this is going to be another site that we're going to use pancakeswap.finance or slash that swap. So we're going to open up in a new window. Then we're going to have to copy the smart contract address here copy or you can also refer to coin market cap right here and then just copy from here as the same address just press on copy then we'll go back to pancake swap so right here by default it's going to be set to bnb and then where it says cake we're going to have to press on this drop down menu and that's where we're going to paste that contract address and then we'll see copy cornucopias press on and then it's going to add most likely if you've never done this before there is going to be another pop-up box basically you'll have to put a check mark that you understand that this is could be a scam this is happens for every single custom token so don't worry about it. just put a check mark that you understand and then accept then your pancake swap is going to look like this bnb and then copy then we need to press on connect wallet then this window is going to appear we're going to choose metamask then this is going to appear we're going to choose correct wallet and then we're going to press on next and then connect now it's going to show you your balance your bnb balance here and then what we can do we can either set custom amount or we can press on max so if we press on max for almost three percent of bnb at this time i'm going to be able to purchase 248 tokens actually it's not letting me use the entire three percent by some reason it's only letting me use only two percent probably because for liquidity providers fee and for the other fees so then we're gonna leave slippage tolerance at zero five and then we're gonna press on swap then in here we're gonna confirm swap then this window is gonna appear again it's gonna tell us how much it's gonna cost so total it's gonna actually take two percent two point zero eight and then we're gonna press on confirm and then transaction submitted as you can see it's still pending okay transaction confirm and then if we go back to metamask click on assets scroll down as you can see we have 248 copy in our wallet that's it you successfully purchased your copy tokens and if this video was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget subscribe thanks for watching